Very good morning, beloved. I greet you in the wonderful, unfailing name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Saviour. Amen. Our scripture for reflection today is recorded in Jeremiah 31 verse 3, and it reads as follows. The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let's unite in prayer. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. Our Lord and our Redeemer. Amen. Now, beloved, the Israelites have been suffering the discipline of God for failure to keep the sight the covenant they have made with him. In the previous chapter, it says, Because of your great guilt and many sins, I have done these things to you. Jeremiah 30, verse 15. Now, oh, beloved, in this chapter, God promises to faithfully restore them again, as he did in the past. No matter what, we are going through in this life. We can always repent and turn back to God. He will forgive us our transgressions and restore us. He will forgive us just as He has taught us to forgive seven times seventy. He loves us that much, beloved. But he also loves us so much that he will discipline us in order to bring us back to himself. Ultimately, God's unfailing kindness resulted in sending his son, Jesus Christ, to take our sins on himself so that we could live and not die. He will draw us, but we must turn to him and leave behind our old ways. Rather than running from him, we must run to him. Beloved, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Why couldn't God just be done with his chosen people when they were clearly unwilling to keep his commandments? No, because his love is an everlasting love. It cannot change. You can never out sin God's love. The more we sin, the more love increases, beloved. He can discipline us for a while, but he never stops loving us even when he seems distant. Everything he does to bring us to repentance, no matter how painful, is the work of good and the everlasting Father and faithful God to unfaithful people like us. A Father whose love is everlasting, In Hosea, in Hosea 2, verse 14, after telling Hosea to go and take back his wife who had left him to become a prostitute, God says he will do the same thing of adulterous Israel. Hosea 2, verse 14, describes us, Therefore I am now going to Allure her, I will lead her into the wilderness and speak tenderly to her. Hosea 2 verse 14 Beloved, God loves us to all eternity and His love is unconditional. The Lord appeared to us in the past saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. 
God is faithful and just, and his love endures forever. Let's unite in prayer. Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, for letting us know and reminding us this morning about your everlasting love. That you loved us and you're still loving us. That you will never give up on us, Lord, because we are products of your own creation. We are sinful, but your word encourages us this morning to turn away from our sins, our wicked ways, and turn to you. Guide us and guard us, Lord, as we turn to you this morning from our wicked ways. That we pray, Lord, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now to all eternity. Amen. God bless you, congregation.